first, we have a long flight to South Korea. See you there. We'll see you in South Korea. 16 hours. Woo! Starbucks again. We got it in South Korea this time. It's a new place. Tastes pretty good still. Woohoo! And we're off. We made it. After how many hours? I don't know. We left Sunday at 2 o'clock from the house. It's Tuesday, 11 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. Lots of traveling. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning. We spent two days on the plane, so we're here in Thailand. $5 for a massage, so we're gonna get it. This is the price. One hour, 150 bucks. They're all dressed, ready to get a massage. massage was excellent every inch in my body hurts <laughs> but everybody enjoy it I'm sure we go it's gonna be our daily routine for the time being in Thailand all right guys we're gonna get a ride on a tuk-tuk so it's gonna be fun let's go tuk-tuk Patrick's in front we're in the back well, let's start this hot rod there we go. Magic all for your life. Great driver. So we arrived. Why Temple? That thing is so gorgeous. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Got the temple. All right, guys, we are ready to walk on the ramp that leads right inside to a white temple. So the details here are just incredible. right here in Chiang Rai it's amazing it's probably over 20 years old when they build it so it's not very old but they did a phenomenal job you can buy one of these for 30 baht which is a dollar and you write what you wish for on them and then you hang that on top of this and they make a wish tower from that so all the people who bought this you write something on it and then they hang them up what me and patrick wish for it's important thing help of course but this the other ones is make real the wild famous famous so we wishing to make our youtube channel famous you guys keep watching we're gonna be talking about becky hanging hairs Patrick, you hang ours. Right here. If you guys see these, this is the whole walkway made from the people who made a wish here. Holy moly. So many of them. Billions. And we're just walking right underneath all the people wishes. This is another part where you can make a wish and you ring the bell. Make a wish. This is incredible. 
Right up here. The ninja turtles. Oh wow. Look at all the faces in those rods. Froggy. <laughs> Patrick saying that this is like a Mount Rushmore but in a smaller scale. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Be careful because he's live. No, he's not. I was just gonna say he looks pretty real. Did you just see his that? finger move? Yeah. Did it move? You have a five-eyed devil. Saturday night and we are at the Chiang Rai walking street. Every week, once a week, every Saturday they close the street and they have a market selling from food, goods, you buy everything here. So we're gonna kind of wander around and see what we're going to find. Have some delicious street food and I'm sure we're going to buy some goodies as well. What do we have here, Patrick? And this time we are gonna have some crickets. Yeah, because we've had them before and they're great. Well, they say you gotta try everything. So, some of those crickets. Mm. Nice and crunchy. They taste good. Perfect. I like it. Our food. Fifty. With strawberries. Fifty bucks. Big octopus. Make sure it's no spice. Because in Thailand, 99% spice. The food is delicious. We got some octopus on the stick. Daddy, that is um, not cooked. Don't and there it goes. Right over the fire. different types of food what is here even like here cakes you go from sausages to cakes from fish to bugs from bugs to peanuts and I mean, you just name it it's unreal now we got another big bowl of papai Love it. Just eating and eating. I gotta say, properly for three dollars, we are all stuffed up. We eat so much food. Can I handle anymore? This is gonna be our last day in Northern Thailand today and uh, we're going to explore the border of Myanmar, Laos and uh, Thailand. We're going to a Golden Triangle. So never been there before and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be very exciting. So let's go to a Golden Triangle and surrounding areas. We'll see how it looks like around there. We stopped to see one of the million temples in Thailand and this one is also very, very big. It's a Chiang San temple. Like I said, it's on our way to Golden Triangle. Every temple when you're going inside, you gotta take your shoes off. There is some kind of walk up here from those stairs. Looks like go up to the heaven. And we are going to go up there. Look at this. I cannot see the end. on the both side of these walls so the heads are right in the beginning and this is this is their bodies as the rails going all the way on top it's gonna be a thousand steps here I don't know if you are halfway Three quarter way or quarter way? Can't see the end. We cannot see the end. Let's go. 
Some steps are so small. Some steps are easy. Like three steps in one. And I think we are on on the top. There is a beautiful gold temple. Wow. There is a huge bell behind us with a big wooden bar attaching the chains. But we're going back, we're going to try to just gently ring the bell. And the orchids here just growing wild, just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys, we arrived to a golden triangle and the golden triangle is between three countries, Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos. We are staying on the Thailand side and on the other side of the large river, it's a Laos, where on the other side, the smaller river right here behind me, it's a Myanmar, Burma. So that's why they call it the golden triangle because people and smugglers, when they were bringing the drugs, they, they were meeting up at this point, and that's where the drugs were exchanged. Pretty great history. <laughs> The Laos on the other side, Burma in the middle. We're standing on where? Thailand. And right behind us, at the Golden Triangle, you got a big Buddha. That thing is giant, huge. Again, in front of the old temple near Golden Triangle. These temples goes back. 1500 years so they are very very old and there's so many ruins and walls and these old temples are just falling apart the trees are growing through them there is so many of them especially closer to Burma and Myanmar border is coming like when we are right now there is so many of these old temples it's millions and millions of the bricks just stuck on top of each other. Wherever you look, just the red bricks. Guys, we've been driving around Northern Thailand and I just want to show you, we're just coming uh, along the pineapple plantations and all these pineapples, wherever you can see around me, there is just the pineapples growing. So many of them. They start from the little, just like that. So this is how the pineapple grows. This is the roots. And they kind of just come right on top, sort of like a cauliflower. It's our place when we're growing cauliflowers, and uh, that's how the pineapple grows. And they tie them together with the strings. As you can see, there is another one. They tie them together, and soon they're gonna be ready to harvest. There is quite a few. There is one. There is another one right here. There is another one growing up there. You gotta be careful because those leaves are pretty spiky but you can see there's another pineapple right here growing yeah they tie them like those leaves together and it grows we're at a tea farm right now and there's a lot of green tea and black tea and all sorts of teas and um there is rows and rows of the tea growing everywhere it's a huge production We 
are at a tea farm. It's north of Chiang Rai. A lot of different tea bushes growing around here. And the view here is amazing. There's a lot of people here. It's a famous place. And of course, we're drinking one of their tea and the taste is great. Between Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai, stop by there is a hot spring. The water is almost like in the Yellowstone National Park, very hot, but it stinks like a rotten egg. The odor here is very strong. It's like a little old faithful <laughs> in Thailand, right? Yeah. I think must be shooting 20-30 feet up. <laughs> <laughs> 